Obviously, nobody could have anticipated the events of 2020, uh, either from a uh, geopolitical medical perspective or certainly from a stock market perspective. Had anyone said that, okay, there's going to be a pandemic that's going to result in global lockdowns and dramatic declines in economic activity. Oh, and by the way, the stock market's going to be up 18% for the broad-based S&P 500, or even more incredible, 40% for NASDAQ. You know, that, that just, those two things just do not seem to exist in the same reality. And yet that's exactly what happened. So as we look forward to 2021, you know, an obvious question to ask is, well, how long can this go on? We have a new administration, and it's, it's going to be a year where a lot of different cross currents, whether they're pandemic or government uh, related, that are going, we're going to have to think about, you know, very carefully about what the effects of that are in terms of various sectors uh, and their performance. The other thing to notice is that over the past decade, we've seen these dominant tech platform companies exert additional influence in the market, at least, and, and over the economy. As the economy was impacted by the disruptions from the coronavirus pandemic, these companies became even stronger in terms of their market position because they allow workers and companies to operate virtually and, and made that easier for, for people. And they grew to be a bigger portion of the S&P 500 by the end of the year. On the other hand, a lot of small businesses were disrupted and they don't have the same financial resources and so forth. And I think that we've seen the continued development of kind of a two-tiered economy where there are haves and have nots. And that's one of the impacts of the virus, uh, fortunate or otherwise. As a whole, 2020 was a year of absolute extraordinary change and challenge. You had the first part of the year really defined by a large amount of volatility. And throughout the year, we had a tremendous shift in the treasury curve in both a severe widening and then tightening of corporate spreads. And since March, corporate spreads have really tightened a lot. And a lot of this has to do with the intervention from the Fed, including providing market liquidity, as well as even engaging in secondary market bond purchases. And over the past year, Really, this spread tightening was focused in the investment grade world with bonds rated triple B and higher showing the most amount of spread compression. That contributed significantly to the performance of the portfolios. After a turbulent first half, the second half of 2020 was relatively calm. And by a year end, the S&P 500 had more than recovered its lost ground. This volatility, reminds us of an old investing adage that time in the market beats timing the market. So looking to 2021, we maintain this cautious but optimistic approach. The central banks have signaled the commitment to accommodate uh, and have had a very dovish monetary policy. A sign of this accommodative monetary policy is the US federal funds rate, which now stands at what many would consider the lower bound. This sort of easy monetary policy has spurred equity markets to all-time highs, and even despite the ongoing calamity. By driving down interest rates, future earnings become more attractive, and thus we see companies with high growth expectations uh, tending to be the biggest winners. Performance data quoted herein represents past performance and is no guarantee of future results. Investment return and principal value of an investment will fluctuate so that an investor's shares, when redeemed, may be worth more or less than their original cost. Current performance may be significantly higher or lower than data quoted herein. Performance current to the most recent month end can be obtained by visiting sextantfunds.com or by calling toll-free 1-800-728-8762. Please consider an investment's objectives, risks, charges, and expenses carefully before investing. To obtain this and other important information, which you should carefully consider before investing, about the Sextant Funds in a free prospectus or summary prospectus, please visit sextantfunds.com or call 1-800-728-8762.